Three of your more recent books, Journey into Islam, The Crisis of Globalization, Journey into America, The Challenge of Islam, Journey into Europe, Islam, Immigration and Identity. Why is this concept of the journey so important uh, in your analysis? Michael, I come from the East and in the East there's a tradition going right back to the Buddha reflected in literature, Kim, if you remember the great novel by Kipling. Do you remember the novel Kim? It begins with Kim, who's a little uh, urchin, 10-year-old boy yeah. of Irish origin, but dressed and disguised as an Indian. It opened, the book opens with him sitting on the Kim's gun in Lahore, which is a, a gun, a cannon, which is still, still there. And what is Kim doing? He's on a journey with his guru, which is the spiritual mentor who is a Buddhist. So the notion of journey, the river of life as it were, is very central to religion in the East. The prophet goes on a journey, he goes on a night journey, he goes to heaven on a journey, he goes to Makkah on a journey. Jesus goes off on several journeys, he goes into the deserts. So in a sense, these great figures are teaching us that journeys involve learning, involved meeting other people, learning from them, and trying to find some kind of salvation. Now, you compare this with the Greeks, Socrates, Aristotle, Plato, and they folk of Athens. So you don't see many of them going on long journeys. In the East, I find these, these spiritual mentors and sages are on journeys. And that's a great metaphor for all of us, because I really feel I'm on a journey. Sometimes I'm not sure where I'm going, why I'm going on a particular a path and in the end I'm not even sure whether I'm on the right path but I know that I must travel and I must meet people and talk to them and try to build bridges and ultimately I think all of us involved in this business of building bridges including you uh, must be on a journey because without that if you just sit at home and say I'm going to watch my favorite TV program you're not going to be traveling anywhere maybe in your mind but not outside physically therefore this concept of journey becomes important and these projects of mine are all looking at the world from a certain perspective. The four big projects are taking the world and its relationship with the United States and Islam from four different perspectives. From how America looks at the Muslim world, how Europe looks at the Muslim world, how the tribes look at both, and of course, how Islam looks at itself and the West. So when you put it together, you have a fairly good idea because you hear the voices of the local people of how to understand the world we are living in. It isn't one simple perspective or one simple ideological position. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله